Hey, this is Brian from Vision Computer Solutions. I uh, just want to put together a little video here to show you guys uh, a product that's uh, one of the newer releases from Microsoft. Uh, this came out at the end of 2016. It's called Microsoft Teams. And here at our company, we really love it. Um, so real quick here, just to jump in. First and foremost, you must have an existing Office 365 subscription. Um, and that is really the only requirement. Um, so from here, what we're going to do is I'm already logged in, but I'm going to show you. Uh, you're going to have to log into the Office 365 portal. You must be a global administrator in order to see the following options. Um, so you're going to go into the admin site, and you're going to come in here. You're going to come down to settings, and then services and add-ins. And we already have this turned on and enabled, so you're going to see the option a little different here, but you're going to simply scroll down and look for Microsoft Teams. If you don't see it, then you don't have the right permission level. Um, but once you come in, the option here is going to be click to off. All you got to do is turn it on. And all these other options, uh, the general teams, calls and meetings, all these default settings are all going to be turned on, and those can stay on. There's no reason to turn those off. Um, so once that's on, it's good and able to go. Uh, what you would need to do is go to this site here, teams.microsoft.com slash download, and then you can download the application right from here. Uh, it's available on Mac and Windows, as you can see. And also what's cool is they do have mobile phone apps as well, um, which kind of give you a cool uh, access into your Office 365 environment differently than we've been able to up to this point. Uh, so from here, once it's downloaded, it's a quick installation. And as part of the install, it's going to ask you for your Office 365 email address and password, and that's it. Um, so once you're in, you can start playing around right away. So just to give you a quick rundown here, you have these tabs along the sides. Activity is going to show you anything that is happening and changing on any of the teams that you're a member of. So it's kind of a good um, place to start out when you first open it to see if anything new has happened. Um, chat is going to be the replacement to Skype for Business, essentially. So this gives you the ability to have one-on-one -on -one private conversations um, that will also record these conversation histories as well. Um, but this is, gives you the familiar um, interface that you're used to with Skype for Business. Um, the Teams, which is the meat of the application here, as you can see, I'm already a member of these three teams. Uh, but this is where we're going to start out this. Uh, first and foremost is going to be creating a new team. And from here, we're just going to call this team demo. Team. And from here, you're just going to simply add either the individual users or your distribution groups or Office 365 groups. Um, so I'm just going to add Ryan here and using a colleague that's going to help us out a bit uh, in highlighting the collaboration features. Uh, so once you have the users in, you're just going to click done and it's going to provision the team here. On the other end, the user will get an email and a notification if they're already in Teams um, that says you've been in invited, please join. Um, so once it gets added in here, you can see the default is going to be general channel. That gets created every time. You also have the ability to add additional channels um, as needed. So across the top here, you're going to see conversations, which gives you the ability to have group conversations. And it will also store the conversations, which is really nice. Um, the other option that we have here is to create more channels. So we could say, you know, documents or we'll say project if there's something that you guys are all working on collectively. And you have the files tab, which if we come here, you can see already that Ryan has joined this team and he's already began uploading documents into here, which is great. Um, it's as simple as either creating a new one from here or uploading one and then browsing through your desktop to grab the application. Um, the other piece that's nice is you have notes here for just common collaboration. And if you notice, it is actually a OneNote document, which will sync back to your Office 365 subscription. As you can see down here, we got a message now from Ryan. 
and it takes us right into the chat section and he's letting me know the files are ready to go. Um, it also does keep a history of your conversation with this particular user, much similar to Skype for Business. Uh, so we're gonna come back to the team here. We're gonna go to general and we're actually gonna take one of these documents he added and make this a tab across the top. So we're gonna select this spreadsheet that he recently uploaded. And as you can see, it will embed the spreadsheet right into the actual application. And so far as to completely give you the option to go through and view it all. The other part that's nice is you have the option then to either edit it in the full-blown Excel application or in Excel online. And because you're already logged in, you have access to it. So now we could come in here, make the changes. It would save. And then we would see the changes reflect here as well. And then just to show you a couple of the other points, you can add a new OneNote. Um, if you use Microsoft Planner and want to do tasks, you can embed those into this. Um, Power BI gives you the option to pull reporting from your Office 365 portal and kind of give you a uh, one-shot glimpse into this. Um, you have the option to add a PowerPoint. And the other feature, that, the last one I want to show you here is the SharePoint option. You can take an existing SharePoint site. We're, for this scenario, we're going to choose our Business and Beer podcast site that we use. And it's going to give you the option to any of the document libraries within there. We only have document. So I'm going to rename this, save it. And now I have access into the document library that is housed on our Office 365 SharePoint site. So with that being said, with the mobile app now, you get a different type of access into your Office 365 and SharePoint environment that we really didn't have before. Um, overall, the application is great. I, I invite you to use it. Um, we've had nothing but uh, good things to, to say about it, and we've shifted away entirely from using some of the other platforms in the past we had used. Uh, well, look what we have here. We have a call coming through. Uh, web calls, and it's a very cool app. I, I highly encourage you to get out there, use it, and let us know what your guys' feedback is on it. Thanks.